y'all doing today? I'm coming to you from the courthouse, Chesterfield County Library, because um, my Wi-Fi is inadequate <laughs> at home at the moment. I was supposed to have this uploaded by uh, yesterday, and of course, it couldn't be because my Wi-Fi runs like an old lady. So, the one random question that um, I'm going to be covering today, and it's only one because it has a five-part answer. So the one question that I get um, probably more than any other, and maybe it's not so much a question as a problem uh, in this uh, way of life, is uh, I do great eating a keto lifestyle for about a week and then I always fall off. How do I stop sabotaging myself? Well, uh, let me just tell you this. The five parts start here. So this is why you sabotage yourself. A, most people believe that diets, dieting starts on Mondays. Uh, why is that, you ask? Uh, it's a psychological thing that humans do. We always start everything new with the number one, the letter A, uh, zero, January, and Mondays. So there's your first problem is that mindset of everything starts on a Monday. B, most people don't do their research or prepare properly before they start. They know they want to start. And look, I'm all for jumping in feet first. But you can't just go out and buy a couple of things, a package of bacon and some butter without understanding how to use them to incorporate them into your life, how to make meals, um, to make keto sustainable uh, long term, you have to change the way you cook, the way you eat, and you have to learn how to meal prep. That's a huge part. C. Most people don't prepare for the flu. Now keto flu is very, very real. 90 Five to 99% of the people that I know um, will experience this in varying degrees. It's all going to depend on how heavily carved you were prior to starting. Um, knowing how to combat it and realize that it's part of the process of, you know, becoming keto, this can make or break you. If you're feeling like crap, and you don't know how to fight it, you're just going to go back to the way you were so that you don't feel that way anymore. D, the weekends. So drinking, pizza, family, having time off, being bored, festivals, movies, kids. You know, during the, uh, the initial part phase of keto, like the first two to three weeks, it's better just to be a hermit. Cut off your social life. I know it sounds harsh, but if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And the thing is, in order to stick to the program initially, you're going to have to cut those things out. You just won't have the staying power being that early on. So stick to your program, keep to yourself, get busy with whatever. Uh, don't hang around with temptation because, you know, like my, like a friend of mine always said, you go to a barber shop enough, you're going to get a haircut. You hang out with people that are drinking beer and eating pizza, eventually you will. So that's going to break you. That's a big one. So E, number five, not really a reason, but do you want to succeed? Then start. And while you're starting, Start learning. Um, teach yourself. You know, find recipes, ask questions, cook new stuff. You're going to have to stretch outside of your limits, you know, and there are resources in groups, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram. It goes on and on and on. Um, and know that the keto flu happens and it's easy to manage with, you know, your electrolytes. These are things you're going to have to teach yourself or learn um, along the way. 
So you can use pickle juice, broth, uh, lots of water to get past those symptoms, and you're going to want to sleep. You're going to want to sleep a lot um, the first couple weeks, and it's good for you. It's not a bad thing. You know, you're going to, in order to change, you have to change. And so changing means you're going to have to work outside of your limits and be resourceful. So keep your menu simple. Write it down if it helps. Write down everything. And most importantly, you're going to have to meal plan. you got to learn how to do that. If you fail to plan, plan to fail. That's another hokey little saying, but it's so true. You know, don't let your hunger or your boredom or a weak moment ruin a week of hard work. You'll just start right back where you were. So you need to have good pre-made foods on hand always that can um, circumvent these times when, you know, you may be weak. So to answer the question, how do you stop sabotaging yourself? Stop sabotaging yourself. Do your research, learn some stuff, ask some questions, plan ahead, plan, 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 learn, adapt, you know, and avoid those, um, those things that you know are going to get you. So think of your goal and remember it every time you start to eat a donut or suck down a beer. You're worth thinking about that goal. So, um, so there's my five. Five answers to a really, you know, often asked question. So that's it for me today from the Chesterfield Library. Um, like and subscribe, y'all. Helps me out. And, uh, and then you get to hear all my videos and know when they get posted. So uh, I love you. I mean it. And keto on, y'all. Bye.